And, and so you are, you are part of the whole design. Your consciousness has the whole design. Your consciousness knows where your energy can go. And really, if it works really well, for example, you, know, you will be taken to the place or you will be born in the place in the planet or if you need to be moved somewhere else, life will move you somewhere else where your energy is designed to participate to the maximum effect, where you can work to the maximum effect in the whole design that is unfolding. And this whole planet is an organic structure of energy that is also a spiritual structure of energy that is unfolding, it's moving, it's changing, it's, it's, um, it's vibrating and the vibrational level can change and you can work to shift it. And there is, say, a certain change that is needed to happen at an organic cellular level. Certain energy needs to be awakened in the earth in order for in order for it to start to sing, one of the next stages of the evolution of the world is that the, the world will start to sing. And that hasn't been heard for a very, very, very long time. The last time the world was singing was, most of you can't remember. It was a long, long, long time ago. When the world is singing, then all sorts of things can happen because it is like the human, you know every human being has their song. Every human being has their own magical songs. Apparently there's a tribe in Africa that when, it, when, when somebody is, is born, all the women gather around and they sing the song of the to the child. And then whenever the child gets in trouble in life, they gather around the child again and they sing them their song to remind them of their real purpose. And, you know, we live in... Because we live at the end of a civilization that has forgotten its real purpose, we don't even remember what it's like for the world to sing. And it is very, 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 very beautiful. It was, it was a long, long time ago. It's what people call the golden age, when the world was alive. And the, in a way that we can't even imagine now, because it's even, it has been forgotten and then systematically erased by certain patriarchal powers from the memory structure of most people. We have to go back a very, very long time. And this song needs to be awakened and it belongs to the cellular structure of life. It has to do in a spiritual sense with life rejoicing in its divine nature and reflecting its divine nature because every cell of creation praises God. That is the primal purpose of every cell of creation. And the world is also, again, one cell in a whole organic structure that we call the Milky Way. And it's just one little node, one little cell. And when it awakens, it will begin to resonate in that whole bigger organic structure. And it, it, it will realize certain things will become conscious that have been hidden for a long time. And, but like everything, in order to awaken, it needs an energy. Just like a human being in order to awaken needs an energy. Which... And this energy needs to be given directly. It is, like, it is like mainlining something. It is like... It, can't, it cannot just be filtered down. It would take far too long. It has to be mainlined. And it has to be mainlined very, very, very precisely. That's why it's like a design. It, it has to be... And different energy has to be given in different places. And, and it can come through the cell, from the inner planes, a certain frequency of energy that is designed for this purpose, that can, that can come straight down through the spiritual body of a woman, straight into the cellular structure of life, at a particular place, and that place can awaken, and it can send out energy to other places, and it's all connected. It's very, very, very beautiful, and it's incredibly beautifully designed. And, you know, what, it, what is sad is that everybody is consciousness understandably is affixed 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 on the on this decaying civilization and that's what we see around us and you just glimpse behind the scenes and you see this whole other shimmering being of light that is waiting to come into being and remember we are all part of it because we are all part of life and we are all part of the divine that is expressing itself in life and we are all linked together we are not 
We have become so identified that we're separate people, that we have forgotten how we are all linked together, and we're linked together in the inner planes, and we're linked together in life, and we're working together. And the moment we become consciously attuned to that, then our consciousness can also flow into this web of life and bring energy where it's needed and activate other energy cells. And, and uh, as I say, women have a very particular part to play in it that a man can't do. because A man can bring his spiritual energy into his spiritual body, into, into the physical body through an act of will. He can bring it down, but it's not natural. <coughs> And a man often has to do something in order to bring his energy down. A woman can just be. And, and it is that being, in that being, in her being, she is connected. And in that being, all the patterns of relationship move and breathe and come alive. <coughs>